Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my kitchen. This side just has storage, my dishwasher, and my sink, as well as my washer and dryer over there. And then the other side is the kind of cooking side. And then over here is the little dining area, which currently is filled with a bunch of things that I'm going to be storing at my parents' place. Um, I have some boxes that are specific to certain appliances, um, an extra suitcase I moved with, and then some plastic bags that uh, they will use because they have a dog, but I don't have any use for. On this side, I keep my blender and juicer on the counter because I use those really frequently. And all extra appliances I don't use all the time are stored away. And I keep extra appliances down in these cabinets here. So in this cabinet on the top, I just have the individual size cups that go with my blender. And then in the front is my rice maker slash slow cooker. And in the back, which I don't think you'll be able to see because it's dark, I have the full size blender cup and the food processor attachment for my blender. And in this cabinet, I have my vegetable spiralizer, my citrus juicer, and on the bottom is just an extra dish drying mat. I use that one specifically for my blender and juicer because they have kind of a lot of parts. In these drawers, I have my utensils. So this is honestly more than I need as one person, but um, my parents gave me this because they bought a new set. And then I have two knives. I like to use one for produce and one for meat. And chopsticks. This double-ended utensil is what I take um, when I have my lunch at work. And then in the back, I just have fasteners. This other drawer, I have a vegetable steamer in the back, a strainer, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a garlic press, a can opener. The red thing is a potato pouch, so you can cook a baked potato in the microwave, and then a small bread loaf, or bread pan, rather. These cabinets up by the microwave are where I keep the majority of my dishes. So over on this side, I have my dinner plates on the bottom, smaller kind of salad plates in the middle, and then on the top I have some wide bowls. And in this cabinet I have normal sized bowls on the top, I have all of my drinking glasses in the middle, and then mugs on the bottom. And above my microwave I store Tupperware, so the really large container is what I use when I make a big batch of soup or stew. The red smaller ones that are in the middle are the ones that I use to take my lunch to work because the varied sizes make it really easy. And the ones all the way on the left I use for when I cut up produce or other things that I pre-prepare and keep in my fridge. In this drawer I just have some kitchen towels, kitchen washcloths, and oven mitts. In this middle drawer I just have a large colander and my only cooking pot. Anytime I would need something larger than this, I usually just try to do it in my slow cooker um, because I don't really feel like it's necessary for me to have another gigantic pot. And then this bottom drawer is just empty. And in the drawer under my stove, I have a few kind of large awkward shaped Tupperware containers and I usually use these for when I pre-prepare a large amount of rice. I have my jasmine rice and then I have some brown paper bags. When I go grocery shopping, I like to use reusable totes, and then anything that doesn't fit, I get in a paper bag, which I reuse for my recycling. Up above my refrigerator, I just have a pancake container, and to be honest, I don't think that's a necessary thing to have at all, but my colander that I have actually is an insert for that. So um, since I have room to store it, it's no big deal, but I definitely would not say that that's a necessity. And then I have my six other mason jars. I don't really feel the need to keep 12 in the cabinet with my glasses, so I have extras up here. The cabinets underneath my sink are just for storage of cleaning supplies. And these are all of my cleaning supplies. So I have wet and dry floor cleaners, a magic eraser, um, my homemade laundry detergent, dish detergent, I have liquid dish cleaner. In the back I have my Swiffer duster and dust cloths. I have glass cleaner, multi-surface cleaner, toilet cleaner, a refill of hand soap, and a thing of dish soap. And if you like natural cleaners, I really recommend this Method all-purpose cleaner. It's a pink grapefruit scent, which is really nice. It doesn't smell chemically at all, and I love that. And then I also have the Method toilet cleaner, 
which is spearmint and I would think that a minty smelling toilet is like weird and gross since usually toothpaste is mint, but it's actually very, very pleasant. And then this last cabinet over here, I have a baking tray, a large pan, which I use typically for like stir frying vegetables and a small pan, which is good for making eggs. So this cabinet up above my sink is where my spices are. So on the top, I just have some tea. The center are my spices. I don't really season my food all that much, so I don't have a lot. Uh, regular old salt and pepper, some nutritional yeast in the back, coconut oil, and then coconut oil spray. Just purely for convenience, I realize that that is kind of redundant. <laughs> up in this cabinet here, this is probably the messiest one, but honestly, I don't use this one quite as much. Um, this just has garbage bags, zippered food storage bags, and then medicines. So I have a couple of vitamins in here, and then I have things like ibuprofen, cough syrup, um, cough drops, and things like that. And then this is my pantry cabinet. It is quite empty, but most of the food that I have I keep in the fridge. And then if you're curious about what's in my fridge, I'll show you really quickly. This little dry erase calendar I got from Target in the dollar spot, and it was $3. So sometimes I'll use that to plan out what I'm gonna eat during the week. Sometimes I'll just use it for reminders. And then I got this grocery list off of Amazon. In my freezer, um, this pizza I actually bought by mistake because I thought it was gluten-free and then it wasn't. So I'm just keeping it until my dad visits and then he can have it. I have some popsicles because it's freaking hot right now and sometimes you just need a popsicle. Over here is just frozen vegetables and then in the door I just have some frozen fruit. And my refrigerator is super, super full right now because I just went shopping yesterday and you guys will have seen the grocery haul as my last video. All my condiments are up on the top here. Down on the bottom, I have drinks. Uh, on the top here, I've got some water, bread, eggs, baking soda, those mint chocolate cups, which are absolutely delicious. That is the meat drawer, so it has um, turkey bacon and then summer sausage and cheese in it. And the bottom is where I keep pretty much all the produce. So I've got carrots, lemons, pineapple, banana, this really large filter water tank, which I highly recommend. I think it's much more convenient than having a pitcher. I have some gala apples, some celery. In this drawer, I've got a bunch of oranges and Macintosh apples. And then in this drawer, I have just a bunch of romaine hearts. And then that is everything that is in my fridge. Well, you guys, that was my whole entire kitchen and everything in it. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing us. I hope that you found it interesting. Like I said, I like to try and keep it with everything that I need regularly and everything that I would use for the types of foods that I cook, but not too much more than that. So I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.